tapering jig for your table saw. I've put it together using uh, components supplied in a kit from Timbercon. Basically, there are hundreds of ways to make one of these tapering jigs and there are plenty of videos with fantastic designs online. There's even some store-bought uh, mechanisms that you can buy for a hundred bucks or more. But this is a really uh, cheap way to custom make one for yourself. Timbercon supplies all of these components in a very affordable package and all you need to do is supply some 18 or 19 mil MDF and put it all together. If you're not familiar with a table saw tapering jig, it's a pretty handy but fairly simple piece of machinery. Basically what you have is your baseboard which slides along your table saw uh, top. You have a miter slider underneath which obviously sits in the miter track and that keeps the whole mechanism dead straight to the blade. And then you have this fence which you can actually move around to get any angle you like. And what this allows you to do is create uh, tapers on the table saw, which otherwise would be quite difficult and dangerous. You might use them for tapered legs, if you're doing some table legs, or uh, anywhere where you need to create a, a taper rather than a straight cut. To make this jig, we've decided to use T-Track because it's really simple to install and gives you a really nice firm hold on all of these components without messing around too much to create too many intricate components of your own. Um, this uh, design that we've created also allows you to use these hold down clamps which normally hold your workpiece with or without this fence. So it means as well as using it as a tapering jig, you can also use it as, as what's called a jointing jig or a straight edge jig. For instance, if you have a large piece of live edge timber where both edges are uneven, you can't run one of those uneven, e uneven edges along the fence of your table saw. What this allows you to do is clamp this piece down on a jig which is going to run straight to the blade and then trim off one of those uneven edge edges which allows you to then flip the piece over then you have your reference edge. It will almost act like a jointer except using your table saw which is a really handy feature. The beautiful thing about this kit is that it's just so simple to put together. You just need some MDF and a couple of router bits and a screwdriver and a drill. That's about it. So I will go through step by step what you need to do to put this all together and give you some, some rough measurements. But I do want to stress that we've designed this kit so that you can create it in uh, any size that suits your table saw. So for instance, mine is 800 long by about 550 wide. Sorry, 450 wide. This is quite large for uh, one of these types of jigs, but I wanted the ability to be using it like a jointing jig on quite large chunks of timber, which is why I've made it this big. A lot of the commercially available um, taper jigs are much narrower, and if that suits you in your shop, then go ahead and make it smaller. You'll just have uh, some longer offcuts of this T-Track, which you can use later on. If you're not familiar, T-Track is just a uh, shaped aluminium track, which accepts these little T-bolts. They slide inside. Uh, and they allow you to tighten different components down onto the T-Track in a really convenient way. And I'm just going to walk through really rapidly how I put this together because some of you won't need really detailed instructions because it's so simple. You have your fence, you need to create a routed uh, track in that fence that you can slide your T-Track into. Obviously you want it to be a snug fit and you want the T-Track to sit at or just below the surface of the timber, so set your depth accordingly. I've created these little uh, cutouts on either end and they accept our T-Track bolts on either end and so you need to make sure that they're long enough to fit wherever you've placed your T-Track on your actual baseboard. I've also put two little cutouts in the centre for my secondary T-Track um, T-track lines in the center and basically the reason I added them is because it adds a bit more strength to the fence when I'm clamping down on objects and prevents the fence from lifting. Apart from that, these hold downs just slide into the T-track. On the baseboard, you've got four pieces of T-track. You could do it with less if you wanted. These end ones are the most important, but the distance from the end or to the center is kind of arbitrary. You don't want them so close to the end that they're um, unsupported, but Anywhere there is fine as long as it matches up with your fence. And these centre ones, like I said, just they do two things. They add a bit of support to the fence and it also allows you to use this um, T-Track base without that fence. The way you do that is by grabbing your hold downs, putting them directly onto this table 
and then you can clamp things directly without using the fence at all. And that's one of the ways that this particular jig is quite versatile. With the miter slider underneath, we've supplied two lengths of miter slider, which are about 450 mils long each. The reason we've done that is it allows you to build either a small jig, if that's what suits you, or a larger one like this. When you are using two bits of miter slider than one, rather than a single piece, it's really important that they line up exactly or the whole jig won't slide in your miter track. And the way that we've made sure that they do slide perfectly and they line up is actually by routing a two mil channel underneath there so that these actually sit down into the board and that stops them becoming misaligned when you then screw them in. Those are all the basic principles of construction. I will go through and talk about some of the finer details of setting up the router and so forth, but if you're pretty comfortable with setting up a router, you'll basically be able to figure it out from there.